Hey guys, me and my honey are back. Hey guys. <laughs> I like your beanie, babe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna talk about uh of some tips we've learned along the way of, along our fitness journey. He's a personal trainer, and what he's learned from his clients as well of why we might part people might not be losing weight like they're wanting to because they might be missing some things. <laughs> so yeah. go ahead, Ben. I'm gonna give you a couple of quick tips, but number one is just not tracking your food, not knowing how much calories you're taking in. Basically all weight loss and fat loss comes down to is how much calories you're taking in versus how much calories you're burning every single day. In order to lose weight, you need to be burning more calories than you're taking in every single day. And the only way you're gonna know how much calories you're taking in every single day is if you're actually tracking your food through MyFitnessPal and actually know what you're putting in your body. Yeah, I know tracking your food sucks. I hate it. Personally, I hate it. And I, I don't necessarily have to now, but then sometimes it is a good reminder because if you do kind of hit a plateau or you notice you're not losing weight or you're like gaining weight and you're like, why? I thought I was eating clean. I think a lot of us don't really realize how much calories we really are putting into our bodies. You might be eating clean all day, but then that one cookie at night might be just tipping you off a little bit too much than what you thought. So I think, um, yeah, I think it's very important to track your calories for sure. Yeah, and then I mean, people are just relying on the gym. Oh, I'm working out every single day and thinking just because I'm working out that I'm gonna lose weight. But it, no matter how hard you're working in the gym, if you're eating like crap and you're eating too much calories, you're never gonna gain weight. So you can't just rely on exercise alone. They always say, you know, diet's 80% of it and working out's 20% of it. So you really gotta focus on your diet as well. Diet's like, I feel like number one, honestly, because nowadays our the, the food we eat these days are just so dense with calories and oils and sugars and just so much that calorie wise if you were to drink your little macchiato starbucks it's like 500 calories or something you know how long it takes to burn off 500 calories so it's a lot easier to limit your intake of what or you know track what you're putting into your body calorie wise than just trying to work it off in the gym because we actually see a lot of people that are fitness gurus and they're only getting bigger and they're just wondering what are you doing and they're working out all the time but then because it's diet it's diet it's the diet so diet's really number one do not i think people real like what's the word rely on working out or cardio to burn off what they ate and it's just impossible and then the number three is the last one I have is having those cheat meals. I mean, you could be doing good every single day of the week. Imagine you're burning 500 calories. You're in a calorie deficit, you know, six days of the week. So you're about to lose a pound. You know, you've lost like you're under like 3000 calories. And then that Sunday, that cheat day, you go and have pizza and pasta and cakes. And then you make up, you, you know, you burnt all that progress you had during the week. You just lost it in that cheat day. So if you're having a cheat day every single week or whatever, that could just ruin all the good progress you had every day. So cut out those cheat days. And don't have a full cheat day. Like I, I like if you have if you mess up on one little meal, okay, it's probably a, it's not gonna kill you for the week. But if you have an entire yeah, if you have an entire day of a cheat day, and you have it's like ends up six thousand calories later, yeah. you you just ruined your whole week. Like yeah, what? Don't even bother going to the gym then. You just ruined yourself. And yeah, it's just, it's not worth it. Um, personally for me, I've noticed, um, I was keto for a long time, vegan plant-based keto, and that did really good for me. Um, but after a certain time, my body got used to it. I was on keto for way too long, honestly, cause you should kind of get in and out of it. But I was on it for a little too long and I think my body started holding on to the healthy fats a little too much and then I hit a plateau and I started gaining weight back and I realized, oh, I, I needed to cut out some of the healthy fats too because they're really high in calories like avocado, almonds. I love all the nuts. I love all the seeds. Um, I loved coconut oil. I mean, they're all very good for you, but they're just so dense in calories. So 
so I started limiting, limiting some of those and taking some of those out and I started dropping weight back down. So, so healthy fats can be, you got to kind of watch those as well, even though they are good for you. You just got to kind of watch those calorie wise. Yeah, guys. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're doing intermittent fasting and only eating, you know, between six hours. If you're binging and, oh, I could eat whatever I want now, even in these six hours, you're still not going to gain weight or you're still not going to lose weight. No matter what diet you're on, it all comes down to calories in versus calories out. That's the most thing you guys uh, can improve on. You know, you're burning calories in the gym and then you're in a calorie deficit with your diet. That's the best way to lose weight. So track your food, burn calories, and that's how you're going to do it. And then also, like, I was drinking this water and it reminded me, <laughs> not drinking enough water is going to make you hold on to weight. And then also, drinking calories, all the sugary drinks, all the fruit juices, all the just sodas Boilers. and stuff, you might be eating totally clean and you're not realizing that the sugary drinks those all add up in calories and first and i did read recently that your body doesn't realize that that doesn't take it as a calorie so you could like literally drink an entire shake but you'll realize you're still kind of hungry later because your body doesn't just it's, it's something different about putting food to your mouth instead of drinking it so so try to stick with like green tea water black coffee zero calorie drinks um because that can really yeah i mean if, if you guys are serious <laughs> about losing weight that's that's a way to do it you know cut out all the sugary drinks all the little starbucks and stuff that's just adding up in calories adding mm -hmm. up in calories those cheat days you know track your food and no then... alcohol alcohol can just it turns into your sugar in your body it just mm -hmm. alcohol is like the worst thing you can do for yourself so no drinking even Keep if it it's clean. once a night, one or once a day, <laughs> or once a day, once on the weekends, that's horrible. Um, yeah, that's our tips. Anything else? That's it. Keep it clean, guys. Keep Track those clean. calories, burn those calories, and uh, you you can get there. So just What's stick with the it. What's tracking app that my, you recommend? Uh, my Fitness Pal. I mean, it's got a, a barcode where you can actually scan every single food that you're putting in, and it rings it up right there for you. And you know, you know exactly how much you're taking in. I mean, I even have a food scale. I weigh how much I do and stuff because I want to know exactly. And, and JJ you know. does food plans too, if any of you need help and guidance, because I think a lot of people don't really know how to read labels. <laughs> so if you don't know how to read labels, hit JJ up because he um, has online training too for y'all. So have a good day, guys. See Bye. you later.